various wars. Please stand if you are able and remove your hats to prepare for the opening. Officer of the day, would you present the colors, please? Aye, aye, ma'am. Color guard! Avast and false colors! Hat salute! Please uncover. O oh Lord Almighty, remember those who lived and died fighting to protect the dignity and the freedom of mankind. Let our spirits be proud of them. Let our hearts be compassionate and our minds clear and determined in giving them honor and respect. And let us be dependent on the loving kindness of the Lord our God. Remember them, O oh Lord, in your mercy and have compassion on us. Make us a generation of wisdom, discipline, and faith. Pray in your holy name. Amen. Recover. You may be seated. <coughs> yes, I do have that one. As we open today's thing, I'd like to welcome Mayor Frank Kuntz from Wenatchee, our special guest here to talk to us and give us some a proclamation and some words of wisdom. We, we put you on right now so we don't forget you. Nah, you're all right. <laughs> I had like a 20 minute speech plan today, but I think in light of today's weather and uh, what's coming, I think I'll just go ahead and read the proclamation and we can uh, move on. So uh, I, uh, again, want to thank you all for being here today. Uh, this was read into the record last Thursday's meeting of the Wenatchee City Council, whereas since the inception of our country, by the establishment of the United States Constitution, it has on occasion been necessary to protect the concepts of the Constitution. And whereas at times it became necessary to, to resort to armed conflict to 
protect these concepts, which give each citizen of the United States certain inalienable rights. And whereas citizens of our great country have given their lives in, in the protection of these unalienable rights. And each year we set aside one day to which we can revive the memory of those who have sacrificed and those who have passed on. Now therefore I pray, Council Mayor of the City of Manji, to hereby proclaim May 30th, 2022 as Memorial Day in the City of Manji and urge all citizens to join us in honoring in their memory. In witness whereof I have caused the great seal of the city of Manji to be affixed on this 26th day of May, 2022, Franklin's Mayor. Uh, again, thank you all for being here today uh, to all of those who have um, participated in uh, making sure that uh, we have the freedoms in this country. It's been an interesting uh, three or four weeks in our nation's history just watching what's going on and it seems like every time I come here there's something happening at the national level that makes me uh, stop and it's not easy uh, but the uh, greatest country in the history of the world is right here in the United States of America. So thank you to all of you guys for being here today and we can move on. Thank you, Mayor Coots. I guess we call that short and sweet. sweet. <laughs> so, Officer of the Day, will you please cause the Armed Forces wreath, followed by the rest, to be placed in honor of our service members who have passed on before us? for the colors of our flag and our country on a bed of palm fronds for the valor shown by our servicemen in combat who died or were gravely injured. The emblems of the current six branches of service are placed on the wreath and the flag of the United States and POW flag are in the center. Thank you. The Gold Star Mother's flag. Gold Star mothers and families have lost someone while they were in service to our country. Military Order, the Purple Heart. The MOPH certifies the wounds of those who died and were injured in the line of duty. Daughters of the American Revolution, patriots and supporters of the revolution, and a patriotic service organization in our community. Thank you. Veterans of Foreign Wars, Post 3617, a veteran service organization in our community. The VFW Auxiliary, post 3617. The American Legion, post 10. Also a veteran service organization. The 
American Legion Auxiliary Unit 10. The Marine Corps League and Merchant Marines. Thank you. Again, welcome fellow patriots. On the back of your programs are General Orders 11 from Washington, D.C. on May 5th, 1868, establishing a day of honor for our deceased military who were lost in the wars. Inside your programs, you will find the names of fallen veterans and fellow patriots who have passed away in the last year. We will not read those aloud, but hope you will read them in your heart to be sure to, and be sure and add that any, any names that we may have missed. These orders of 1868 and some changes since started what we now know as Memorial Day. The changes for the most part are good, but there are a few things that must never be forgotten. The heroic dead spoken of died in valor on the battlefield or field hospitals. And in 1868, they were usually pretty bloody. Palm fronds on medals when they were issued later were common to signify valor on the battlefield. Some were sent home and lived only long enough to get there before succumbing to their wounds. In 1868, about 90% of the enlisted were on the front lines. Later wars were less bloody, but no less heroic for those who died in combat. More people were behind the front lines keeping records transporting the severely wounded to cleaner hospitals, obtaining supplies, and so on. Today, we're told that not, approximately 90% of our military are not only in support roles behind the scenes, some of them are thousands of miles away, piloting drones on spy missions or giving instructions to flight missions to pilots or ground and sea transportation. Only a small number of deaths or major injuries are caused by actual combat with the enemy. Most are caused by landmines, today known as IEDs. These are tragedies all the same, especially if the individuals cannot be saved or is a major burden to the family for the rest of their lives. Today we have come to celebrate those who perished in combat, to all of those who served honorably in the armed forces, and now adding another part to that is the service provided by the home front, by that 90% that extends into our communities and into our homes. It's you, it's our service organizations, it's the loved ones of our veterans who are their support now and who are standing here in front of me and remembering all of those who have passed on, especially those who fell in the line of duty. I heard Colonel Jack Keene say a few words this morning and he mentioned the fact that these heroes had un died with unconditional love for their country, for their families, and their fellow man. We call them heroes.
they didn't. They, they were there for those reasons so that hopefully they could all come home. Obviously, some didn't, and that's why we're here today, to honor those fallen and all of them that have been in there. But you, I met, I've called you patriots two or three times. You are patriots. And you, you do the support for that 90%. Today on the battlefield and inside, our intel is better, our weapons are better, and hopefully our negotiations and decisions are better so that we can maintain our freedoms and continue our lives with liberty and the pursuit of happy, happiness. But we shall never forget the sacrifices that these servicemen made in while they were serving our country and loving us. And we will never forget what it's meant to us. We have our freedoms. We have our liberty. We have a good life under the Constitution of the United States of America. And in doing some looking up of the word patriot, the rest of you, it kept, all of the definitions that I found kept pointing back to Webster, where it's clearly defined that a patriot is one who loves his or her country and zealously supports its authority and interests. That includes all of us. Today, patriots, we live in a country that is free because of the brave and we shall never forget. Thank you. Uncover. On this Memorial Day weekend, we are reminded that you, O oh Lord, our God and Creator, have blessed us all present here today as we have memorialized those who have died in the service of our nation to preserve liberty and freedom in our own land and in the world. And now, Lord, be gracious and merciful to us and let your light shine upon us, for you are our God and Savior, and unto you we ascribe glory now and forevermore. Amen. I'd like to thank you to all of the organizations that participated, to all the patriots that came here. You're all supporters and we love you all. A special thank you 
to Memorial Chapel Jeff Wilson, to Mayor Frank Kuntz, to uh, Josh Lewis, and Gary Wiggins, and everyone. Thank you all for your honor and respect to our fallen service members, and may they rest in peace and never be forgotten.